Number 22 from uh, Disciple New Life in Christ. Uh, lesson number 22 is generosity. It says, the Bible says, God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. We could give for no other reason than that. Um, the following scriptures give more reasons for giving gener generously. Circle keywords or phrases. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 says, Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 and 7 says, But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. God loves a cheerful giver. Um, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 24 and 25 says, There is one who scatters, yet increases more. And there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. What do you learn about generosity? Um, so we learned that if we are generous, um, then God is generous. <laughs> uh, but we, we don't do it because we want anything back from him because what he's done for us is enough. So we do it because we love him and, 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 and he asks us, tells us to do that. So we want to we obey what he tells us to do. Um, so basically, what we reap is what we sow as well. So I mean, it's just it's just a uh, it's it's a um, uh, a metaphor that that is used by the world as well. They they know that if they sow into good things, they're going to get reap good things. Um, most people know that, um, but if you don't, well now you know. <laughs> Have a good day.